All righty. Joined today for our MSU media availability by head coach Mike Hastings. Coach Hastings, maybe a quick comment on last weekend and turning the page into the playoffs. Uh, eventful weekend, as we've all seen. Uh, as Tech usually does, uh, and they play well, whether it's in their building or, or on the road. And uh, It was a great series. Uh, they were able to, to get game one, and we were able to get game two. And... Um, you know, close the book on the regular season, and now we're looking forward to playoffs. It's an exciting time, and um, I know Lake State's going to come in here excited. Uh, they played us real tough here uh, twice earlier, and we're just looking forward to the playoffs getting started. All right, we'll open it for questions. Kevin Dudley of the Free Press, you can go first. Mike, now that you've had some time to, you know, decompress and you know maybe compartmentalize what happened last weekend, winning a six straight conference title how impressive is is that accomplishment when you when you get to think about it a little bit more here well and I, I talked to you a little bit after the game Kevin on on just you know I, I think that's something we, as coaches and as players we you know over the second half we've tried to just focus on our dailies and and once a day is put to bed worry about it the next day so the guys took uh sunday and and um monday we we had a little bit of a flush day and and then got back to work on tuesday uh i think that's something we'll think a little bit more about after the season is done uh, very appreciative of of what the guys accomplished in the regular season uh, happy for them happy to see some of our seniors on a night that they were being honored for their contributions uh, throughout a four-year career uh, and with Andy Carroll five uh, contribute in that game in uh, meaningful ways as far as the score sheet so happy for them but now the the page has been turned that book's been closed and I know those guys are focused on the playoffs Kevin got a follow-up I'll ask about Lake State, we saw them um, in your building in January and very competitive, very committed to, defend, to defending, I thought, clearly. Um, they're, uh, they've are played really good hockey of late since, since that series. They're five and three. They're coming off a sweep at, at Ferris. Um, to talk about what, what they bring and uh, and what the things you'll have to do to, to beat them up. Things one first of all, Louis Bedon is uh, probably one of the I think one of the best. I think he was a preseason first teamer. Uh, I know he got my vote um, because of the amount of respect I have for him as a player. Uh, Damon Witten, uh, every single time you play him, you see something different. Um, whether it's faceoffs, whether it's uh, what they're doing defending, whether it's something they're doing special teams wise, uh, his attention to detail is uh, I think one of the best in the league. And so you combine that with at the end of the year, all these guys are trying to continue their careers at where they're at, um, whether it's for the team that they're playing for or, or showing themselves very well. So at this time of the year, it's, you know, win or go home. And that's the same for both of us. Uh, we're just trying to extend our season and have this group stay together a little bit longer. And Lake State's doing the same. So uh, we're going to have to earn anything we get at this time of the year as it has been really over the second half. There are no easy outs, um, and so from our standpoint, we've got a lot of work in front of us, and we've got another day here uh, to make sure we get done before Friday gets here, and that's going to be our focus. Tim Rappelai. Um Coach, getting a player like uh, Lucas Souter back in your lineup, it's almost like a, a, a trade deadline getting a, a slugger. Uh, he's produced a lot. Uh, what is his injection into your offense uh, meant to you guys? Uh, well, Tim, I think it's a great point by you, uh, very observant, you know, and he, he has an impact in the most important game of our season uh, by scoring that, that first power play goal. Um, and he's still, he's slowly coming because he had been out for an extended period of time, but, you know, he's somebody that comes in and played a top six role. He came in and played a power play role. Uh, he ate up a lot of minutes for us. He's somebody that we trust, his teammates trust. Um, he's been in some very big games for us over the time that he's been here. Anytime you can interject that into your into your lineup, you're going to be better, and we were. And, you know, it's going to be nice right now. Um, you know, Josh Grohl, who's been out for a while, 
um, has been um, practicing for the last two weeks and was cleared on Monday and is going full go. So we're hoping to have another guy that's had some experience uh, up and down uh, the time that he's been here. Uh, he's he's made some impacts and he's going to be back in the lineup. So hopefully both those guys can make impacts on this weekend. Carson. Coach, it seemed like towards the beginning of the year um, in terms of consistently in terms of consistency, David Silia was really the only person on the score sheet that was, you know, it seemed like contributing night in and night out. And there was a lot of questions surrounding the goaltending position. Um, in your talks with some of the guys in your relationships with some of those seniors, do you feel like, you know, now come crunch time, they're really starting to step up and get maybe more comfortable now towards the second half of the season compared to where they are at the start? Well, every season's a unique journey for each one of these young men. And, you know, you, you might think just because something either went well or didn't the year before, that's what's going to happen the following year. And it doesn't work that way. Uh, this game is cruel. It's it's unforgiving. Our league's unforgiving. You've, you've got to go and earn it every day. And some guys got off to really good starts. Some guys didn't. I really like the impact that our veterans had over the weekend. Uh, Keenan Rance here has been a guy that's stepped up since uh, the second half started and has done his job. I also think seeing Brendan Furry and seeing Kate Borchart, seeing Souter, uh, seeing that group of guys that have been here before and done some things. David Sillier, uh, who's really worked hard on his own game to help us get to this point, have some success at a really important time of the year. And we're going to need that. Uh, different guys step up at different times. And right now, we just turn to March. Uh, and I know basketball's got the coined phrase, March Madness. This is when you need guys to step up. If you're going to have any success at this time of the month, you got to have good goaltending. Your special teams better be dialed. And you've got to have multiple guys contribute in different ways, whether we have it or we don't have it when I'm talking about the puck. So um, I'm excited about what this group has in front of them, and I think they're excited about the opportunity to be playing Friday at home in their own building. Don Westfall. Coach, could you talk a little bit about just especially all season long, but certainly here in the second half, the contributions you're getting more and more. It seems more steady play from guys like Bellini and Malinowski and Wheeler, who maybe earlier in the, the season, you know, you could tell that they had had the experience. But now I, I think to some degree here, the second half of the season since Christmas, their contributions providing more playing time for you and what they've added to the defensive core. Yeah, I don't know if I can do it do it justice. Those guys, you know, when you're not in the middle of it and you're behind somebody like Jack McNeely or you're behind somebody like Wyatt Amott um, and, and you're somebody that hasn't had the role that those guys have had at this time uh, and over this season, it can be a little bit intimidating. But I do think those young men have done a really good job at taking some of the experiences that they've witnessed, uh, that they've been – through uh, with that group and applied them to their opportunities right now. Um, Psychos, Wheeler, Bellini, Malinowski, those are guys that are playing significant minutes, significant roles. You saw the goal that Bellini scored when we were at Bemidji. Um, you know, for us, those guys needed to mature and needed to continue to grow, and they've done that, and they've been somebody that their teammates believe in because of the work ethic that they've put in and how they've performed when they've been put into those spots. Dudley. Just um, in terms of what you've had in, in the the past with this roster what they've been through in these playoff situations they've won so many games game after game in these these tournament postseason you know winner you go home type situations and that's kind of you know what you're going to be facing going forward here the rest of you know the month and you know, hopefully for you guys into april but uh, do you feel like there's a confidence that this group has you know going into those situations given that they've been successful in them so much in the past I do think experience is your best teacher, but it does not guarantee uh, just because there's been some past success that you're going to have success moving forward. Um, uh, our league is as compacted. College hockey is as uh, compacted. I mean, from a, a you know, just the 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 difference between winning and losing is so minute, and the parity in, in through 
all of college hockey, I think, is at, a, at an all-time high. So, you know, we want to draw on those experiences, we want those guys to feel comfortable. I think they're just excited about, you know, the regular season's done, now we move on to the next level. This is a time of year that things happen in a hurry. You're you're playing one game, and, and this weekend, one team season in this series is going to be done. Um, and so, you know, you want to take advantage of that opportunity. That's what I think the guys are excited about. I hope they do draw on the experiences that they've had in these situations um, and be excited about the opportunity. Tim. Uh, Coach, how confident is your power play? Three uh, against Tech, who gives up no power play goals, uh, must give you some confidence. Well, it's kind of the same thing there too. It's good to have uh, some success at this time. It's de- it's definitely better than going over uh, for for a weekend or two or three. Um, you've got to have some breaks. You've got to be able to have different guys step up at different times, and they did. You look at Borchard, who I think that was his fourth goal. Uh, it had been a while since he'd scored a power play goal. Uh, David Cillier doing what he's been doing for us. Akito Hiroshi running it from up top, but then even secondary, another power play group with uh, for Brendan Furry and, and – uh, Andy Carroll uh, contributing. We had two groups that contributed this week, and I think to be successful over this time frame, you need different guys to step up, and those guys did that. So hopefully they feel good about it. Uh, our power play session this week has been good, um, but they're going to have to go out and earn it against a group that's trying to do everything they can to keep it out of their net. A couple more here for Coach Kevin. There's been a lot of talk this week just leading into the playoffs about how competitive these series this week and have the chance to be just given, you know, how, how competitive the league has been all year. Like, like you've said, um, do you think the league right now, I mean, I guess in its, in its, you know, current form, I know there's been, been changes, but in the, in its recent history is as competitive as, as you've seen it maybe. Yeah. Just, every year it just seems like it continues to grow in that manner. Um, and th- this is, yeah, it's, there's, Go ahead, and I, I whether you were sitting in our our staff's room or I, I even have to believe in our locker room, nobody's looking at this uh, when the playoffs start and say, "Boy, I hope we play this team or I hope we play that team." Um, every team in our conference this year has given us trouble. Uh, yeah, look at the Lake State series. We had to win the first game in overtime. The second one, I think we, I, I can't remember if it was an empty netter, but I know it was in the last minute uh, to to win a two-goal game. Uh, Ferris State had come in here and swept us. Bemidji came in here and swept us. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't matter who you're playing right now in our league at this time. Uh, you have to be good enough to end somebody's season. Uh, to progress your own and it's going to be no different here so i think it's a great challenge for us and it's something that guys are excited about tim i'll give you the final question here for coach hastings um the recent statistics of langan bruner uh langan uh as a goalie uh like a 932 935 940 save percentage in last five games uh, you've got to beat another elite goalie this weekend yeah, you know, and I appreciate you bringing that up based upon one thing. Uh, the, the quality of goaltending in our league this year, I think, has has gone a little unnoticed. Uh, he, he's done a great job for him. And, and you, you look at the teams that are getting it at this time, they're the teams that are winning hockey games. Uh, yeah, you look at Piatala, you, you know, you, you can go up and down. You look at the run that uh, Northern's on right now in Halas and, and what his numbers are over that time. You have to have it at this time of the year. Um, and, he, you know, any time that he's played against us, he's been very good. And he's on a hot streak right now. So, like I said, um, good goaltending. Their special teams have been good. They're, I think, 5-3 and three in their last eight. Uh, they, they went into Ferris State and swept Ferris. There's not a lot of teams that do that. Um, so, I think they're going to be coming here with an awful lot of confidence. And uh, we're going to be playing a goaltender that's playing very well. And so, we're going to have to get to the net and stay there. Um, and make sure that we make it as difficult as we can on him. Any other questions for Coach? Seeing none, we'll grab our player. Thanks a lot, Coach Hastings. Thank you.